Hi guys, welcome again to Home World Online. This is Santiago, Hotel India 8, Oscar, Kilo Bravo 8, Sierra Mike. Today I'm going to be telling you how to use log forum and PST rotator so you can control your antenna rotator directly from log forum. And I'm going to do it right after this. Okay, like I say, I'm going to show you how you can uh, control your antenna rotator uh, with a log forum and PST rotator. If you're a log forum user, uh, it's going to be very useful for you. And if you're not a log forum user, I really, really advise you to look, take a look at log forum because it is quite an excellent logger. Uh, first, I'm going to start by saying that PST rotator developed by Yankee Oscar 3 Delta Mike Uniform Code Root is not a free software. It's actually a cost like a twenty dollars or so, but it is really, really, really worth the price. Okay. Uh, first, if you don't have PST Rotator, I'm gonna tell you where you can find it. I'm gonna put the address also in the description of the video. You just have to Google PST Rotator. Here you go, PST Rotator, Software for Antenna Rotator. You click there. That's the place where you're going to find the program and you can uh, download it. There have uh, two versions, uh, PST Rotator, which has a uh, azimuth and elevation control and PST Rotator Azimuth, which only has the Azimuth uh, control. Depending on uh, what time of uh, antenna and rotator you have, you choose either one. Okay. Once we have uh, downloaded the software, configuration is very, very simple. Uh, if you have already uh, configured your PST Rotator, yeah, you go to, in order to make it to work with a log forum, you go to communications menu. In that, in there, you want to go to UDP control port. This will tell the program that you're going to be using a UDP information to send uh, instructions to the router, rotator. Here you go. You can see uh, port 12,000. 12, 12000 and the IP address where the computer is, where the program is uh, installed. It will, it will go by default to uh, that address and that port number. You just have to uh, make sure you click on Save Settings. Then you will go to Setup menu. You want to look for the UDP control option. Make sure it is checked. This will tell the software that it is activated to receive UDP instructions. So once you make sure it is already checked, the other thing you have to make sure in uh, PST Rotator is it is in tracking mode, which is automatically tracking. It will be tracking from uh, different uh, instances. Once you make sure it is in tracking, you go to the tracker menu, and here you're gonna choose how you use uh, the tracking. What we're gonna do is look for log, which will uh, tell PSU Rotator that it will be tracking from a login uh, program. There you can see all the different login solutions that uh, PST Rotator works with. In our case, we want to look for log forum and make sure it is checked. So that's everything you need to do in the PST rotator. Now we're going to take a look at the log forum configuration. I'm going to minimize this a little bit so I can uh, see both 
windows in PST rotators. We are already done, so we go down to log forum. In log forum, we go to the settings menu. As always, look for program configuration. It will bring this uh, window. Uh, the first thing we want to do in log forum is create an outbound connection. Uh, this outbound connection will mean that uh, instead of receiving information, log forum will be sending information to a third party. We go for connections. Remember, we did this when we were uh, configuring uh, Log Forum to work with a uh, grid tracker, WSATS, and uh, JPLR in previous videos. And but this time we're going to create an outbound. In outbound, you want to see the port. Remember the port we put in the PST rotate, which is twelve thousand. We're going to put the 12,000 here. 1, 2, 0, 0, 0. Connection name. You give it the name. Remember, you, normally you can, uh, you will need to use names that relates to the, we are, to the instance or program that we are using. So you can use uh, PST rotator, rotator, whatever. I just name it uh, PST rotator. In service type, in the drop down, it is already there. The service type is a PST rotator. So Daniel did a, the work for us and it is already there. So you, you just need to choose PST rotator and click on the plus button. This will add that outbound connection there. Okay, so after that, we go to antenna rotator, which is right below the connections tab. In here, we make sure that PST rotator is already is checked. We're going to select sense azimuth. In this case, I only have uh, the azimuth uh, information. So if you use elevation as well, you check on the send elevation and send call sign. If you use a stepper antenna system, you just make sure that you click on the send frequency and select the radio you're using. In this case, I'm not using it, so it is unchecked. So after you checked PSD rotator, send azimuth, and send call sign, you can uh, click save and apply. And this will, uh, will be anything uh, you need to do. Let me try it out. My antenna is right now pointed at uh, 30 degrees. If I can, uh, if I, can, I look for this uh, call sign, for example, uh, let's look uh, for a US call sign. Let me look for uh, Whiskey 2 Romeo Echo, which is Ray. You can see that here, uh, Log Forum will give you the azimuth uh, for that station, short path, and long path. Assuming that you have everything configured correctly, if you hit, hit here, short path, that will command the rotator to go to that uh, degree. So as you can see, you can see it here is changing to 353 degrees, which was a uh, Whiskey to Romeo Echo address. Sorry, Asimuth. So, uh, what, whenever you see a station, let's see a sec the cluster here, we can s see Spain. When you click on the cost cluster, it will give you the Asimuth. You just have to click it. and that will tell the PSG rotator application to direct the antenna to that degrees, in this case 49. As you can see, it's simple, very quick, and very resourceful. You can just minimize PST rotator and work along with the log forum, give you a 
less windows to look up to and it's quicker, easier and more effective doing it this way. So I hope you find it, this uh, information useful. I hope it is uh, useful for your kind of operations. So until next time, make sure you if you have any questions or comments, use the comment section below. And if you want to see any other particular video, just let me know and I'll do my best. Until next time, this is Sound War Online 73s. Take care.